Hey, what's cracking YouTube? I'm Brandon, this is DaVinci's Alchemist. Look, there's a lot of different ideas and thought processes on citrus fragrances, and the weather is here. It's really, really hot, especially right now filming this video. Um, it's gonna be like 110 degrees in the Pacific Northwest. It's insane. But this is the time where citrus fragrances shine. Some people really love that fresh uplifting appeal. Some people it's really not necessarily for them, but there is no denying that there is a certain sense of versatility. It's really perfect for in the morning when you go to work out and you don't have a lot of energy. It kind of revitalizes you, gets you excited about your workout, gets you feeling motivated. And when you're done with that workout, it'll keep you from smelling like a wildebeest after you get done pumping all that iron. I know that for me, citrus fragrances really help me feel motivated when I gotta drag my happy ass off to work for the day. And, you know, let's be honest, at the end of the day, uh, when you've been busting your butt, working in the heat, sweating, all you wanna do is smell fresh and clean, and each and every one of these bad boys are gonna do just that. What are you doing? Mind your own damn business, Tanner. Bottom line here is that I wanted to showcase some of my personal loves as far as citrus fragrances are concerned. So here's this list, this nice little top six uh, of my citrus fragrances from my collection that I really, really enjoy and that I want to bring to your attention. So I did rank these. These are ranked from the very top, uh, which is, you know, starting at number six, ranking all the way down to the best of the best, which is number one. Now, granted, these are not like, oh, I hate number six. This is just not necessarily as much as I love number one. You know what I'm saying? So let's just crack right into this straight away. Um, I did want to do a, you know, an honorable mention in this. Basically, honestly, because I don't have a full bottle. Yeah, if I did have a full bottle of this one, this would actually probably be number one. This is a complete package for me. This is Atelier Cologne's Pacific Lime. Everything about this is amazing. There is lime, there is coconut, and who doesn't love a little lime and a coconut? You know what I'm talking about? The musk element is perfect. This is so fresh and so delicious. Don't be swayed by the idea of the coconut in this because there is not, it's not too much. It's more of a support. It's like a build, backbone, a stepping stone to showcase everything else that makes this amazing. Certainly getting a full bottle of this this year. Tillier Cologne, Pacific Lime, coming to you at the very first spot, number six. This is Kieran NYC's Sunday Brunch. Orange, very wonderful orange, lemon, like a tea, a little nice tea note in here. Uh, it's bubbly, it's like a bubbly orange. It's kind of like mimosas. There is some nice light florals. If I'm not mistaken, it's jasmine, but it's not like an indolic jasmine. It's very, very subtle, very beautiful, very pleasing jasmine note. For me, very much reminiscent of a nice lemon and tea cocktail, a little bit of sparkling soda, a little bit of vodka, and the name is really perfect because it certainly reminds me of uh, you know the good times that I had with friends before the whole COVID thing. And it just has a great relaxing vibe. Spray some of this on, play a little Nora and Pure, like deep house, deep chill style music. Relax, close your eyes, enjoy yourself. Sunday Brunch, Kieran NYC. Now, number five for me, whenever I spray it, I will always be reminded of my buddy Tony and his wife Bex. Tony is, uh, of course, uh, Mr. Fragdicted. Uh, his channel I'll link down below. Uh, so this one is Lude Issi Por Om by Issi Miyake. Great woodiness throughout the life of the fragrance. Nice little light cedar, little bit of sandalwood. Feels like it has a nice little bit of a vetiver greenness to it. Popping out of the gate citrus-wise, yuzu mandarin, bergamot, and it all blends so well. I know that this one has been around for a while, but I honestly truly am surprised that there's not a lot of talk about it still going on because it's beautiful. Honestly, most of the Issey Miyake range that I have tried, I think I have five bottles, love all of them to death. I will always recommend this when people ask about citrus fragrances. Luda Issey, Pour Homme, Issey Miyake.
Okay, numero cuatro. You want to talk about a photorealistic, I mean super photorealistic citrus fragrance. Definitely in the orange category. We're talking Aqua de Parma's Anancia de Capri. This is from their Blue Mediterraneo line. And I'm telling you what, this is without a doubt, 100% crazy good citrus realism. It's like you get that rind, that, uh, that zest, and you squeeze it and the oils come off. That's right there in your face in the most beautiful way. It has this nice little bit of a, like a caramely sweetness, musk. Those two things kind of help to take some of that bitterness out of that citrus oil feel. Definitely helps to elongate, elongate the citrus in this. Quintessential citrus fragrance. Honestly, the whole entire blue Mediterranean line is something to behold, but you know, for this list, only one, Arancia de Capri, Aqua de Parma. Number three on this list is 100% vibe. Now, I don't get an awful lot of chances to wear my white suit out, but every time that I put this on, I'm taken back to when I get to wear that white suit. This is Artisan Pure from John Vervados. So many great elements to this citrus. You got lime, you have clean musks, woodiness. You get a good amount of fresh green notes as well. And the notes, I'm telling you, there is so many notes listed for this fragrance that uh, if I was to try to tell them all to you right now, it would probably be longer than the entirety of the video. Well, I mean, that's not true, but you get the point. Everything about how this fragrance vibes is fantastic. It's very versatile whether you're just trying to find some chill time or if you're trying to impress you know, your boss or your girlfriend's uh, parents or your boyfriend's parents or whomever, definitely a unisex fragrance. For me personally, it reminds me an awful lot of the time that I've spent over the years down in Mexico, one of my favorite places to go to relax. And oh, I tell you what, just takes me there. Don't let the small price tag on this fool you. There is definitely a lot of luxury in this particular fragrance. Go pick yourself up a bottle of this. You'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see for yourself and you'll find yourself reaching for it a whole hell of a lot. Artisan Pure, John Bravados. Now we're down to number two. Sometimes, if you're like me, you like to have a little bit of dirtiness with your fresh and clean citrus. Parfums de Empire Yuzu Fu will do just that. The citrus in this is pretty punchy, fairly bitter. It's rounded out and smoothed out by the woody notes and definitely also the green notes. And those woody notes that are in this kind of have this nice reedy appeal, which is probably why they list uh, bamboo as one of the woody notes. Never smelt bamboo oil or anything like that. I have no idea how that all translates, but Yuzufu to me has a sense of flexible rigidity. The citrus comes in pretty strong, but that reedy animalic nature, man, that's, oh, that's an all day for me. I, I love it. I love anything that's dirty, sexy, animalic. If you can throw a little bit of citrus in there or a lot of citrus in there, like they do with Yuzufu, then for me, it's, it's a no-brainer. It's 100% great. All day, any day, Yuzufu from Parfums to Empire. We are now at the end, the final fragrance, the number one on this list. The top, my top, citrus fragrance for this crazy, crazy hot summer that's happening right now. And that is Wulong Cha from Nishan A. Now, this has some beautiful orange, beautiful bergamot, sandwiched in with some green notes. Uh, definitely has a nice little bit of a musk background building block. I get a nice little hint of fig as well. And uh, this is the first thing that I honestly think of when I think to myself, oh, hey, I'm going to put on a citrus based fragrance today, tonight, whenever. For me, uncompromisingly calming, centering. It really is kind of a nice little trip to the backyard, into the hammock, a hot breeze. 
rather a cool breeze <laughs> on a hot day. <sighs> if I can get on this thing proper, there we go. Just a thoroughly relaxing, centering fragrance. <sighs> After a long day of work out in the heat, this is right where I want to be. Breeze in the trees, it's fantastic. And I'm just gonna hang out here with Wulong Cha from Nishan A until the sun comes down. And that, my friends, is the end of my six citrus fragrances for summer. Hopefully you're finding ways to beat the heat and you're wearing some pretty amazing citrus fragrances yourselves. I would love to hear uh, any suggestions that you guys have any thoughts on this list, please leave them uh, in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please feel free to do so now. It's a great time to do that. Uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up for the like. Mash the shit out of the notification bell. Hope everybody's staying cool this summer. Hope you're doing wonderfully, that you're having a fantastic week, a fantastic weekend. No matter what you're doing, don't forget. Keep calm. Stink pretty. Deep breaths. I'll see you on the next one.